Hey, you guys. I'm just popping on right quick because um, I'm going to do um, be wearing the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Longwear Foundation. I actually picked up 7.25, which is cool almond. The warm... Mm. The warm almond. Um, what I'm discovering about me is I need it to be a little more neutral or cool, not so much warm and kind of, I don't know. Because I did the same thing with my um, Fenty. I went more with a cooler tone, neutral. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I have a sample and I just want to see first before um, I purchase it. I heard good things about it. So yeah, we're going to go in with that today and I will check in at the end of the day again. Um, I just uploaded my um, Maybelline Superstay um, full coverage foundation video, wear test and, you know, application. So yeah, we're going to um, try this today, the Bobbi Brown one, and I will keep you all posted. And I am going to go in with my regular primers. I laid down my Pore Professional, um, this is from Benefits, the Matte Rescue one. So I always lay that one down first. And then I'm gonna go in with, um, of course, you know, I like to kind of even my stuff, even my skin tone out with the Melanie Mills um, Glean Body Radiance. This is in rose gold. And I'm gonna go in with my smoothing primer from Tarte. So that's what I normally lay down on my face when I'm testing the foundation, okay? So I put my color corrector down as well. Um, I'm just using my e.l.f. pencil today for that. Um, show you guys. It's the e.l.f. Uh, color correcting stick. It is in the shade. It don't say, but it's the orange one. <laughs> what color? How come it doesn't tell me what color? This thing is weird. The way e.l.f. do their stuff is weird. Sometimes they don't tell you, but anyway. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the cool. So you see how that kind of already is blending into my skin. And I have it even. And I am going to go in with my... Uh, let me see. She gave me... Ooh, smells kind of funny. Hmm. She gave me enough for like two or three days of testing. She filled it up. So hold on, let me bring out my sponge a little bit. We'll be right back to blend together. I almost forgot about my eyelashes, so I'll try to get this blended out. Mm -hmm. And it does. See how it runs. Let's see what kind of coverage we get. Hmm. My beauty blender, um, uh, beauty sponge is damp. I like the uh, coverage of it so far. Uh, be up underneath here. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is finish. This. I think that's pretty good coverage. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. I love the color match on me. I'm gonna put just a dab, I mean like a dab right here, you know, my little problem spot right here. Let's just see what that does. Oh, okay. Covered up pretty well. I wonder if it's how it would do with a brush. Maybe this will we'll test next the brush. All right, y'all. I will be back for uh, let y'all see the final finish with everything on, and then we will come back and do. Uh, even if it's this evening when I get back in, I will let you guys see what it looks like and let you know if I had to do any touch-ups or anything like that. Um, yeah, we will see. Might be adding something to our repertoire. So, hey, you guys, this is the final look for me today. Um, just had a little bit of fun. Um, I did use, for just in case you have it, the Happy Birthday palette from um, NYX. Um, this is what they gave out 
last year um, for your birthday. And I really do like that pal this palette. So um, on my lips real quick is Anastasia Stevie. This was a recommendation from one of my subbies. So yeah, I kind of like it. And we are testing out the Bobbi Brown foundation. I really like the um, finish of it so far. And if I didn't tell you, I'm 7.25 in Cool Almond. So I will be back later for a check-in. Um, hopefully get that back, get this video up to this evening. And that way, you guys, if you were looking into that foundation, um, you can have a kind of a reference point. But yeah. Hold tight, and I will be back for more information later on this evening. Thanks, YouTube. Okay, you guys, this is in the sunlight. Pretty full coverage. It's a really pretty foundation. Gonna keep you all posted.